So growing up, I lived, was blessed to live in a neighborhood with a lot of girls, a lot of kids. And uh, we were always at each other's houses and each other's yards, uh, doing things, making up dances. And one thing that all of us girls liked to do was do the cheerleading thing. And one of the cheerleading things that we did was build pyramids. Well, who had to be on the bottom? It was always the strongest person. And then it would be like the tiniest ones, you know, on the top. Um, but you needed that strength in order to fortify that pyramid. Hi, I'm Shauna, and my husband Pete and I are Golly Family Discipleship. We're both ordained ministers with the Church of God, and we invite you into our home every day to just come study the Bible with us. Uh, this week, we have ventured into 1 Peter chapter 2, and today we're going to talk about verses 4 through 9. I'm going to read those, and then we'll get started with the discussion. It says, As for you, uh, as you come to him, the living stone rejected by humans, but chosen by God and chosen to him, you also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For in scripture it says, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now, to you who believe, this stone is precious, but to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And a stone that causes people to stumble and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they are destined for. But you, this is one of my favorite scriptures, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness and into wonderful light, right? It's such a wonderful scripture. I love that scripture. Um, <clears throat> but here we have um, Peter talking about this living stone, this foundation. Um, Jesus Christ is the one that is the chief cornerstone. He was rejected by man, right? He was rejected by the religious crowd. He was rejected by the very ones that he came to save. However, he has become, because of his marvelous work on the cross and, uh, and resurrection, he has become the chief cornerstone. He has become the foundation of our salvation, and he is the strongest one. You know, we talked about that pyramid, building that that pyramid you need to make sure that your foundation is strong well there is no other foundation that is as strong as Jesus it is he has withstand withstood the test of time generation after generation Jesus is the one that we build on you know a wise man builds his house upon the rock right Jesus is that rock and he will not fail us um, <clears throat> we are like living stones, we're being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood. You know, these scriptures talk about, um, remind us just who we are. We are important. We are special. We are a chosen people. Those of us that are in Christ, those that are followers of Jesus Christ, we are a royal priesthood. Um, you know, when we studied this, we talked about, think about the layers of just that word. You know, uh, royalty, we know that that is someone who reigns and has power and authority, right? And then you have a priesthood. You have someone that was set apart and called to do God's work. So here we have someone who has authority and someone who is called. We are a royal priesthood. We're a chosen generation. You know, you live uh, at the time that you live on purpose. Don't ever think that um, where you are, are or who you are or what time you were born has been chosen wrong. No, that is false information. You are chosen for this time, for this place, for the people, for this generation. And um, God is calling you into that marvelous light. Um, he doesn't want you to dwell in darkness any longer. He has laid the foundation. Jesus is our cornerstone. And we are to build continually on that, right? So um, I want to remind you to live intentionally for Christ every day. That you exalt God, encounter God. That you edify yourself by reading the word of God. And you engage this world for Jesus Christ. I also want to encourage you to read along with us. First Peter chapter 2. And um, I want you 
you to dig deeper. Ask questions. If you want to ask questions, comment. Uh, leave us a comment, a like, a uh, share, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, but we want to encourage you in the Word of God. We want to encourage you to live that godly life and to build your life upon the rock. Until next time, God bless.